Hello! Today I'm looking at this game, it's called Zero AD. Zero AD, yes. Um, I have a slight problem with this game. I mean, the name of this game. Um, because I'm pretty sure there wasn't a Zero AD. But never mind. Um, minor technicality. Um, so yeah, this game is still in alpha. So it's not complete. Still a couple of little bugs here and there with it. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get started. Let's have a look at what's available here. I've gone through this a couple of times. Uh, there appear to be some scenarios which I've not tried. But I'm just going to stick with the random map here. And I only quite like the continent style. So. I'm just going to put this on demo bot. They don't tend to attack you. It's just, I just want to show you some of the, the features of this game, at least the ones that I've discovered so far. So let's get started. Nice bit of music. Okay, so here is the start. Sorry, I'm being a bit spastic with the controls. So here is uh, your civic center. Civic center. Yep. And so you can train different types of units. So I'm going to get these, these people to start gathering food. Not. As you can see down here, you've, you start off with four soldiers. Um, the interesting about this game, actually, is that you can actually get your soldiers to to do villager work as well. So, if you've noticed, I've actually split these into two soldiers and two villagers. Um, the reason for this is because the normal villagers are, are females. And if you read the little text here on on the female citizen, you can see that um, they have this thing where they inspire ne nearby males to work faster. Um, also, they're better at harvesting. So that's, that's a bonus. Um, so yeah, so you, when, when you're gathering, you want to have a good mix of both male and and female units. Oh, so, let's do a bit of scouting. Um, as you can see I'm at the bo bottom of the map here. Uh, I like the way they go for this sort of rounded effect. If I zoom out a bit, you can see sort of what I'm on about. You, you, you can tell that the the ground here is not not just sort of a flat plane. There's there's a bit of a curve to it. I mean, it's it's not immediately obvious, but you know, it's just little things like that which are nice. So you can see there's a line here. This indicates your enemy enemy's territory. Um, but because I'm in their territory, it doesn't necessarily mean they can see me. Uh, an example of this is if we come down here to our territory, I can't see around the edge here. So, that's still shrouded by fog of war. Okay, so I've trained these guys up, and I could do with some buildings, so I'm going to get a couple of houses down. Uh, this will boost my overall... Uh, Maximum population. Yes, um, you get a bit of a score bonus at the end for for um, exploring the map. So I'm gonna, gonna have a bit of, bit of an explore around here. Uh, from what I've seen so far of this game, the two games that I've actually played of this, it's very similar to Age of Empires 2. A lot of the concepts are modelled off of that. Um, 
I would say it's a, it would be a nice alternative to Age of Empires 2, except for the fact that that game is at least 10 years old now. Um, I can't remember when it came out, but... Um, so it's not very expensive. This, however, is free because it's open source. It's an open source project. So you can see here, buildings take a long time to, to build. So I'm actually getting attacked. So. Um, buildings take a long time to to, to build, and, and this computer is just way ahead of me. So let's uh, start churning out some some more villagers. Yeah. Being attacked here. But yeah, let's uh, get a good scout out of the enemy territory. Get an idea of actually how to play properly. Not what I'm doing, which is sort of mucking around. So yeah, the nice thing about this here is I've got... You can see I've got this building this farm here, and... Um, you can get multiple people working on the same farm. I'm gonna put down a resource gathering thing here. A mill, that's all. So if I, if I get this down, I'll actually get all these people to start working on this. You can see it's building up a lot faster. I've got I've actually got some people working on that. I'm just gonna make sure I've got good supply of, of villagers. I could however do with some more, more food. So I'll get some more villagers working on that. I'll start getting some of this metal over here. Actually, I'll, sh I'll show you what it's like if you just have one villager working on on a building. It's incredibly slow. So here you can see it, the bar is moving, but you know it's going to take a good minute or so you know, to get to get this up. So ideally, you, you want quite a few villagers working on that. Oh yeah, I had these guys down here, they were building. Um, let's see, what else could I do? I'm going to build a farmstead here. And... Also, a whatever one of these is, Coral. So the idea of behind this is that you can you can bring food here, and and here we can train sheep. Yeah. So we're gonna get a few sheep. Um, this will provide some food for us. It's a bit of an investment with the sheep. You gotta put food in to get some food out. So, um, I believe they cost 50 food each. Uh, but you should be able to get a good 100 or so out. It doesn't tell you how much food you get from each one. But imagine there's significant return on investment with the, the food there. So a quick peek back into here again. Yeah, not, not too much going on. They're doing, certainly doing a lot better than I am. Uh, you know, I've got my little village going. So now I've got a sheep. Let's click on this sheep. Better kill it first. Um, yeah, okay. So you get 100 food for each sheep. So no, that's not too bad. I could do with some more villagers. So. 
not enough food again. Not entirely sure what the deal with the uh, <laughs> the villagers is. Actually, able to train up cheap fast enough to keep these guys productive, so I might need to get another, another one of these going. Get another one of these. Here. Come on, come on, sheep, come on. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, build this first. Get a few sheep going. Uh, what's happening over here? She's chopping wood. And really, I want her to be mining this metal. No, actually, I, I think I have some people mining. No, I don't have people mining metal. Okay. Get some more, some more guys for defensive purposes. Okay, we'll get these guys to kill the sheep. And when I've got some food again, I'll uh, get some more sheep. Um, another thing that's actually some of Days of Empires 2 is the whole phasing thing. They're called phases in this day, ages in Age of Empires 2, but the nice thing about this is that. If I had the food, I could actually queue this up to to start going after after it got these villagers made. We're seriously lacking food here, so let's queue up some more sheep. Get some more sheep here. going to want more food and not food. I'm going to want more stone and metal, so we should probably start queuing up some people to to get that going. But I'm starting to row on, run low on population, so... I shall... Get these people to start building a couple of houses. And then once I've got that doing, I'll probably probably move on to the next the next phase. There's some research here. I can't get that until I move into the next phase, so that's going to have to wait a little bit. few defensive troops around. Yes, the I'm not quite sure what's up with the sound of the sheep. They They sound like little kids sometimes. They sound like kids crying. It's uh, kind of yes, disturbing the actually. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear that, but 
Oh, maybe it's just when they kill the sheep. Oh, that would make sense. Still somewhat disturbing, though. Makes sense. Sort of difficult trying to select these units, and I wish they had some camera panning actually, that would be nice. That would be a nice addition. I seem to have misplaced a worker. Uh, oh no, there it is. Um, it's just trying to get around this, you need to really position your camera well in order to select certain things just behind trees and that. Um, so that's my only gripe about this game so far. Um, aside from that, it seems fairly solid for something that's in alpha. Oh, I've got enough to go on to the next phase. As you can see, I can actually queue up some, some villagers right after that's done, uh, which is handy. Yes, run, run, run. So, obviously not everything can do villager work. This guy, this horse, he can't, he can't really do anything. He's only useful for scouting and fighting. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's nice to have that balance between, between the two. Actually, another thing I should point out is that here's a normal villager, and you can only build th these these buildings. As well as if I can find this guy here, he's got a lot more available to it. You can build a, a whole lot more different. You can build, yeah, just, just got a lot more available to him. You can can make the um, like the military buildings, so that's something you want to to bear in mind when you're well, when it comes to, to building. Uh, but if you want to have your villagers do do a military building, that's that's possible. You just need you just need the the one guy to set down the initial foundations, but you can you can have villagers join in to help with the construction. So I'm gonna start getting some more people in here. I seem to be somewhat lacking in the food department, so. I wanted to build a dock, but I don't seem to have that available to me. Maybe I need something else. Let's see. Yes, see? Ah, we need this guy to build the dock. So here, I'll show you what I was on about. So he's put those foundations down. Right. And now I can send these guys back to chopping wood. I've got a few villagers down here. Yeah, see? Let's get them onto that. And these guys, we could do with another mill being put put here. Just gotta watch. Because uh, when they're done with this, they might start constructing that mill. Um, Oh, these guys might start constructing this dock. I just want to make sure that doesn't happen, because I want to keep these guys for some other buildings as well. I'll just make sure these guys go straight back to the building over there. I'm going to bring all these guys together now. Oh, we've run out of sheep again. I wish there was a better way of doing this. 
and I'm all done. I'll go farm in here. But if I can. I got these guys working on a farm. Build up a stockpile of sheep so these guys actually have something to do while those sheep are getting ready. You can also use the of the dock actually as a mill, so actually building that mill was a bit of a waste. But never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna build the barracks. Or at least I would if I had the wood for it. Might not need quite so many people for this construction. So I might take some of these take some of these women over here. Send them to chop down some more trees. Game. I realise I've just used up all my wood to do that. Yeah, oh, I forgot where I put this guy. You mark him as group one. Well, there is just one guy. Uh, actually, I haven't shown you the research. But from what I can gather from this, um, you can either pick one or the other. So, I seem to have quite a lot of metal, but metal becomes incredibly valuable later on. So I'm going to research that. Stone, not not so much. Can't get better plants. This yet? I need wood and stone. Ah, I've got just enough wood. I've got more villagers on the wood, but uh, I'm, what are these guys doing? They're, they're slacking off. Honestly. Look. Chop wood. You're. Selecting the trees is a bit finicky as well, actually. How's this coming well? It's coming along well. I'm gonna get some more of these guys, because they could be quite useful. I've done those, I've hit one twice, and that's actually locked on. If I just move the thing the view, and then it, it gets rid of that. But you can lock on if you want. I'm gonna get some fishing boats, actually. Some fishing boats. I uh, get some fishing done, hopefully. I'm gonna go for the sheep again, because plenty of people on farms. I don't like to have a mix of, you know, meat and, and veg with my meals, so. Oh dear, what have I just done? I think I've just sent every single villager to. Oh dear. I've sent a lot of villagers off to to do something I had not intended. 